وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين. Why did they? Why did we said come in, share the land, lots? You mean the people that were originally here? Yes. The people of the land. There was Canada. five million right here. Five million natives, originals. Yeah. Uh, Crees. Which, we don't say natives. We yeah. say Crees. Crees. Cree, C R E E. Okay. Cree is the tribe? Five million. Okay. Right here. Now what happened? They came and gave them smallpox, the blankets, everything. The Christians. Used their bodies hmm. to spread smallpox. Okay. And the people dropped by the millions around here. Hmm. Then the farmers came in. Okay. And the farmer said, we want these Crees out. Okay. So the government of Alberta okay. moved the Indians from their land, which was just across. Indians is even a racist term, right? Because they're not from India. That's no, what the Europeans no. call them, right? Anyways, yeah. every time they ask me what I am, hmm. I'll tell them Indian because I'll use their racist term. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I use it. So what was your, you said you had a question why. Can you ask that question? Why did they? They did it. I'll, I'll, there is an answer. They did it in God's name. Christians. And they did it in Jesus' name. So you're saying the Europeans massacred the natives of this land in the name of Jesus and genocided them. And your question is why? They, for them, it's righteous. To kill people in the name of Jesus? Yeah, be, because wow. we are the devil's children then the, to them. Really? Why would they say that? Because you, you seem be, like be, a be, human because being to me. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. All the people who welcomed all the people from outside were good people. Right, so, so the people were at the we're, time we're originally talking three, four were hundred welcoming years to ago. the Europeans. But the Europeans, in the name of Jesus, you're saying, killed the people here. Yeah. Genocided them. Yeah. In the meantime... Wow. And then they, they call us terrorists. <laughs> meantime, the true terrorists are in North America. Wow, that's interesting. Under the name of democracy and wow. freedom. That's deep. Yeah. No one listens to me. I'm listening. Yeah, you make And I'll sense. tell everyone. I'll tell them to their faces what they are. Right. And they look, I say, yeah, take a really good look. What tribe are you? I'm called the Haida Gwaiians. Haida Gwaiians. We're related to the Hawaiians. Oh, wow. We're the Northern Polynesians. Interesting. We went all along the coast raiding. We were the Vikings of the West Coast. Wow. But I, they consider me a medicine man. Okay. I said, I'll he heal you. Here, bring your face here and I'll spit in your face. Are you healed yet? Mm. This is my sense of humor. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the natives who were in this, I'm in Canada right now, but I mean, like, let's say this, five like, million right here. Five million. Let's just mention them. And how many do you think are alive today? Uh, there might be a hundred thousand. That's it. So, what, what so the rest like, like, like my people were 800,000. Wow. After they gave us smallpox, after smallpox wiped us out, there was 10,000 left. Wow. My great grandmother had to be chief of the village because there was no men. Wow, to that be many the people chief. died. Huh? And we're Hawaiians. Yeah. The, 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 the chiefs, the queens of Hawaii, mm. it was the women, they were the leaders. If you do not let women lead mm. or consult, mm. then you're nobody. Mm. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter so, where you come from, what you believe. So in Islam, we believe that all people are from the creation of God. We don't believe anybody is the children of the devil from human beings, right? We believe humans are all equal. 
whether you're white, black, Asian, doesn't matter. In the end, what matters is whoever is more pious, whoever is closer to God, right? So, like, like Muslims, they traded with North America, South America, even in the old thousands days. of years ago. Right, but they didn't genocide. They no, didn't come and no, kill, right? The, 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 everybody treated each other with respect. Right? How have your Chinese in, included? Yeah. Chinese, India. Right. They were all respectful. I right. mean, there was wars. There was always wars. So we believe there's only one God, right? And we believe that one great God sent prophet to every nation. Like even the natives who lived here, well, people in Africa, people in every corner yes, of the yeah. world. And, and I like that belief. That makes sense, right? I, it there makes a go. lot there of sense. There you go. It makes sense, makes, right? Hey, but we uh, believe that, I believe that. Uh, we before believe you mentioned it to me, yeah. I believed it. See, it's in your fitra. It's in your natural state that you believed in that. See, See this is wherever Islam. I go, the spirits are with me. Right, right. God has angels. God has. There are jinn. There are different creation. Those are all creations of God. Right. We believe that Jesus was a prophet. We don't believe. Yes. Like, yeah. I know. That I makes know sense, that. Right there, you go. I know that. Right. You I go. know it. See, this is, this is how they Islam. don't know it. They don't. They made God into Jesus and they God. made him into a blonde, right? Green but he eyed. wasn't blonde, blue eyed, you know, he white was guy. brown, right? Exactly. It's the Middle East, right? Yeah, I mean, like he's a, from the Semitic people there, right? The kings and queens of Egypt were black, right? I mean, of course, it's Africa, yeah, you're right. And I mean, if you look at Jesus in the historic context, he would have black hair, you know, some, somewhat brown, skin. brown, lightish skin because that area in Levant the way their skin type is but this blue-eyed blonde guy on a cross that, that this is fiction right I I would never believe it. I spit at that there you go man I I actually spit at uh, it. do you know about Islam already uh, I know some okay uh, so we believe there's only one God we believe that one God created us and made us equal white black doesn't matter in the end whoever is more pious is closer to God we believe that that one God sent messengers like Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad were messengers sent by God to convey a message. The message, only one message, which is worship God and follow the prophet of your time. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. So we believe that the first prophet was Adam. The first messenger was Noah, right? From then on, Abraham, Moses, Jesus were all prophets. The last of them being Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon all of them. We love them all. We respect them. We don't make cartoons of them. We don't disrespect them, right. but we don't worship any of them. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Well, that's Islam for you. Okay. So to be a Muslim, you testify. You say, I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship except one God above Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is a servant and messenger of God. Do you agree with that statement? Yeah. Okay. Are you Muslim too? Or? Yeah, I'm Muslim. Okay, you're Muslim. Khalasa. <laughs> okay. All right. So if you can hold the mic if you like. Yeah. All right. So we'll say, you just repeat it after me, okay? And then we're going to be Muslim. We'll get you some books and literature, get you connected. You, you, you know her already? Yeah. Good, good. So then he'll, he'll be there for as a resource. We just want to make sure that you can grow in Islam and have resources because you'll be our sister in Islam after this. Okay. So say, you know, Arabic first or English first? Uh, let's, let's try Arabic. All right. Well, relax. It'll be easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ashadu Allah ilaha. Allah ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammad. Muhammad. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa Rasulu. Wa Rasulu. Allahu Akbar. Allah. You're Muslim. Allah. All right. <laughs> we'll say it in English so you can know what we said. Okay. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is the servant. Is the servant. And messenger of Allah. And messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar. You're Muslim. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. That's amazing. So inshallah you can, you have a Quran already? Yeah, or? yeah we okay. grabbed that. We have, inshallah. A, we have a, a new Muslim package we can give you. For new Muslim. Where, where are you from? Um, like yeah. origin ethnically yeah. uh, Philippines Philippines yes. mashallah you know you speak Tagalog no 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 I grew uh, up here I grew up, I, I grew up in the yeah. US too yeah, yeah but so. it's interesting in Tagalog when you say thank you yeah. you say salamat po yeah salamat, salamat. is from Arabic salamat's yeah. Arabic yeah. you know because the Philippines used to be Muslim Manila Manila yeah it's from the Arabic word even Mindanao is still Muslim. Yeah, a lot, a lot of cities in the Philippines yeah, are still Muslim. Yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. 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 So you, you know you know a lot about Islam already huh Alhamdulillah what do you know? Um, <laughs> like, I, I don't know you, I just want to gauge oh, this. You know, God is God. All right, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always whoa, whoa, peace. I, I got you. you know? So you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already. You believe in the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah. How are you not Muslim? 
I still have a lot to learn. No, no, no. I still have a lot to learn. Look, I have a lot to learn. Right. And Every I, day is a learning experience. Right. And I've been formally studying Islam since the late 90s. Alhamdulillah. I have a master's in hadith and I feel like I know nothing. But that doesn't, that shouldn't stop you from your shahada, right? Okay. Do you believe in Allah? Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, yeah. man, look at you. You got the words down really, and everything. Look really. at you, bro. Uh, you believe in Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad being prophets Peace of Allah. Peace be upon them. Peace be upon them. Peace be upon them. You yeah. believe in that? Yes. You're Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Khalas, do your shahada, but let's do it right now. I was planning to do it in a masjid. But bro, masjid. A brother, a brother was okay, asking look, me. A, bro, a brother was asking me. Because he is the one that introduced me to Muslim. I got you. Islam. I know. You know. But the problem, the reason is, you, you, I don't know, were you raised out here? Yeah, I was raised right. in uh, Toronto. Toronto, right? Yeah. I was raised in SoCal. SoCal, oh, okay. you know, so I'm yeah, from yeah. San Diego, very, right? Very, very, away from that. Right? Very away from that. So, I know that life and death you never know. Right, right? nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. So if you know the truth, don't don't procrastinate right. your shahada. Definitely. But if you like, we have the Masjid today, Rashid, we have the conference. Bring your friend, we'll do the shahada there. Your friend can do it with you, all right? But let's do it now just in case, in case you die from now and then. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Exactly, right? Astaghfirullah, yeah. So let's do it. You ready? I, bro, I, I, pro I promised him, I promised him. He okay. said, he said, whatever, because he's the one that introduced me. Okay. So out of, you know, out of well, respect and heart and everything. Number? Yes. Let's call him real quick. Oh, I think he's busy because, um. Let, let, uh, let's just call him, see if he's, if he's available. You got the verbiage down really well, man. Alhamdulillah. 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 If he answers. No? Let no. me send him a message real quick. Yeah. yeah. Sheik Osman, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is mine, wow. man. I always uh, see you on Instagram Reels, TikTok. A, uh, oh, I think he's calling, yeah? Oh, there you go, yeah, that's him. Let me just pick him up. Yeah, if you want to. Assalamu alaikum. Habibi Raza, this is Osman ibn Farooq from YouTube. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? This, you, you know Osman? I, uh, let, where, where's the video? Can you put the video on the call? Uh, uh, yeah, FaceTime. Yeah, yeah, FaceTime. Yeah. Rada! How are you? How are you doing? Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm here and uh, just visiting from San Diego. You, you've seen us on social media and stuff? Brother, I think so. I have. I think so. <laughs> uh, he'll send you the link to the videos, inshallah. Inshallah. But I'm here with your with your buddy, mashallah. Habibi, keep halik. And that's amazing, man. You, you've taught him a lot, man. Mashallah. 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 I'm, I'm, brother, I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so happy too, man. He came up. He knew all these words. He knows Subhanahu wa Taala. I was like, whoa, man. That is that is some strong dawah. That's like, you're on alhamdulillah, point, bro. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. I'm going to be here till Monday. We've got a conference at the Rashid Masjid. So, but I was telling him, man, he's already there. I tell him, let's do your Shahada. He said he wants to do it with you. Oh, really? Yeah. Inshallah, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll talk to him. Because I also got uh, busy with, uh, with uh, All right, so what, is that? what do you think we can do a Shahada with you on the video, me and him together? What do you think? It's up to him. It's definitely up to him. I mean, if he wants me to be there... Yeah, that's I'll, the thing, you know? I'll, I'll, it's... it's yeah, yeah, definitely, no, 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 no. Definitely, definitely. Whenever he is ready and whenever he Let's wants to do that. Inshallah. All right. So why don't you why don't you come to the conference at Majid Rashid? You know Majid Rashid? Uh, Rashid, right? When is it? So I'll be there on seven. So today, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bring him with you. We'll do the shahada together, me and you, and then we'll then we'll go out for dinner together, man. What do you think? Okay. But I have to, I have to be at uh, one of, uh, one of the, uh, one of the brothers invited me. No problem. Uh, it's just like uh, okay. at so, eight o'clock though. So, so do this. I come, come at seven. Bring Emmanuel or, or your Marcus. 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 Bring uh, Marcus with you. We'll do the shahada and then you can stay as long as you want. You can leave whenever you want. Okay. Jazakallah. Khalas. Jazakallah khair. Good to see you, Raza. Brother. Inshallah, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Inshallah. Inshallah, Habibi. Once you're free, call me. Okay. Yalla, Habibi.
All right, ma salam, walaikum salam, habibi, habibi. It's there, man. 7 p.m. today. 7 p.m. today. That's it, man. Brother we'll see you, man. inshallah. Inshallah. So it's a pleasure, man. Inshallah. Version the standard that's used, right? Yeah. And if we look at some of the things that see, this is in uh, on there. First Chronicles, 18. Right. If you go down, verse four. David took them from 1,000 chariots, 7,000 horsemen. Right. 7,000 horsemen here, right? In the same Bible, when you go earlier, this is in Second Samuel, right? And then David killed with 700 chariots. So 700 here, 7,000 here, right? Now this is clearly what happens is, that the Ross in translation, exactly. It's the original Torah that was revealed to Moses, and then which is the first five books, and then the other books from the Old Testament. The Jews had. They had the fall of Babylon, they had the displacement, and they lost it. And Ezra the scribe rewrote this from different people's accounts. And in the rewriting, they got all these contradictions, right? Because this is why the manuscript contradicts. I'll show you one here, right? This is in Second Chronicles 22.2. Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother was Ataliyah, the granddaughter of Omri. So how old was he? 42, right? Same Bible. You go to 2 Kings 25.6. Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king and reigned same one year, so no, not a different time. And his mother is Ataliyah, the granddaughter of Omri. See, 22, yeah. right? I mean, I could, get, I could show you 100 right now. That's not even the point, right? But the point is, that's not the word of God. Like, like in Catholic school, what did they tell you about Jesus? What is he? Son of God. Son of God, right? Now, in the Bible itself, right? Now this is in First Timothy in 2.12. I'm oh, sorry, uh, 2.12, different one here. Second uh, Timothy in Timothy 2.5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Jesus Christ. Right? What does it tell you? Jesus Christ is not God. He's not the Son of God. He is a man. And he's the mediator. He is the messenger between God and, and man. See, in the Bible, a lot of people are called sons, right? Because in Hebrew, like you said, lost in translation, a lot of times son was a term of endearment, right? Okay. I'll show you one quick one here, right? In Genesis, Old Testament, it says, The sons of God saw the daughters of men. And the sons of God came uh, into the daughters of men, meaning married them, right? So who are the sons? Plural. Right? If you look at Ephraim, he's called the son, Israel. So what does that mean? In Hebrew, they used to call pious people or angels even the sons of God. But they didn't mean it literally. But the people who spoke Greek, the Romans, the, you know, the people from a European perspective who were used to this pagan mindset of God and Godlings and Hercules and Zeus, when they read those, they took it to be literal. And because it fit their narrative of paganism, that's why Christmas, like in your church you celebrated Christmas, right? But that's not in the Bible. Christmas was Saturnalia, it was a pagan festival. Even historians say that Jesus was born in the summer, right? Not 25th of December. In Islam, we don't believe in these lies. We believe in keeping it real, no contradictions, no God has sons and wives and daughters. One God created all of us, sent messengers, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, as messengers to bring the one message. Worship one God, don't worship idols, don't worship saints, don't worship Mary, don't worship Jesus, worship the one they worship. So what the question that I have is, yes. if I know he was showing us a verse, um, it said about how he cannot be compared to man, yeah. to God. Um, how does that, I'm just curious about how, if he cannot be related to man. Wait, what do you mean power, comparison of God? I think, I can't remember exactly. Oh, what the verse? Yeah. So he's saying, Qul, say, Allah is one, Allahu Ahad, that there is no two, it cannot be two. He is not born out of anybody, yeah. and nor is anybody born from him. Yeah, I get that. It's just, um, how 
if he is not like any of us, how are we supposed to interpret what he is trying Excellent. to say? Excellent. That's why we have messengers. Like, for example, yeah. mm. the people of Moses, mm -hmm. when he brought the message of God, you believe in Moses, right? Yes. So how are they going to understand the message of God? Jesus wasn't even born, right? Yes. So Moses brings the message. The people of Abraham, how did they understand God? The people of Noah, how did they understand God? God doesn't have to be one of us to speak to us, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Let me give you an example, right? Um, you're, I'm assuming you're Caucasian, right? You're white, right? Don't want to make any assumptions, oh, yeah, right? Right. right? I feel you, right? Okay, <laughs> right? Let's say you go to the, what they call the First Nations here, right? And you are, are, are teaching them English or whatever, you're teaching them math, right? Yeah. Do you have to be them to teach them? No, you've got knowledge. They, for example, and they want to learn, you go and teach them. Flip it. What if they learn a language they don't know, you don't know, and they come and teach you? But they don't have to be you, right? God cannot be human because those don't mix, right? We're not restricting the power of God. But for example, the Bible says God cannot lie. Does that mean God's not all powerful? Of course He is, but it's beneath Him to lie. Right? That doesn't befit the glory of God. Yes. So in the same way, humans have shortcomings. Like Jesus, he didn't know the hour. He didn't. He got tempted by the devil. God doesn't get tempted. The Bible says Jesus was made lower than the angels. Do you think God is lower than the angels? No, right? In Islam, we believe God is above. God is the creator. He's not one of us, but he loves us. He created us. And to communicate with us, he sent us messengers. Yeah. To show us a practical example. Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, other messengers, Isaac, Noah, uh, David, Solomon, these are all prophets of God. They show us how to live. They show us how to implement that message. But we don't worship them. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Right. Sir, what do you think, man? Why don't you guys... I think, uh, like my biggest contradiction for right. every religion that I've looked into is right. always, you know, they say, even in like Catholicism, it's always right. God, God has always been. God is one, like he, he was always there beginning. Right. And, right. I just can't wrap my head around it every I got you. it's the same thing where it's always been mm -hmm. where it was before. You know what I'm saying? Good say, question. Well, no That's way. a great it's question. Kind of like, you know, yeah. so, so, it's kind so, of a, a gray zone for me. I got you. Let me clear up your gray zone. For sure. And then you're becoming Muslim. For sure. All right, cool. Right? Have you ever seen a puppet show? Mm -hmm. Right? When you see a puppet and you see it moving, do you think there's a puppeteer behind them? How do you know? Because they got string. What's your name? Malcolm. Malcolm. Malcolm X. All right. We good, we good, man. What's your name? Carter. Carter. All right. Carter's cool name too. Javante. Javante. Nice. So, when you see the puppeteer behind the puppet, right? So you see the puppet, you know there's got to be a puppeteer because you see the string being pulled. So you go to the back and you see the guy pulling the strings. You ever go to him and go, yo, where are your strings, bro? Mm. Mm. You don't, right? Because mm -hmm. that's the puppeteer. He doesn't function by the laws of the puppet. Gotcha. We're creations. Mm -hmm. So no doubt everything has a beginning and end, mm -hmm. right? If you look at this building, there was a time this building wasn't here. Mm -hmm. And someday this building won't be here. Mm -hmm. That's very true. So to conceptualize something that always was there and always be, will be there is difficult for us. 100% I understand. But that's where you have to differentiate between the creator and the creation. Like me and you don't know everything. If you, Carter, came out to me and said, I know everything, I'd be like, yo, bro, you're capping, right? Because I know that there's some things you don't know. And then I'll hit you with a question you don't know, and I'd be like, boom, bro, right? But that's the thing. We're creation. We're limited. Like Jesus, like you said, he has a beginning. He was born, right? Then, according to Christians, he died, right? According to Muslims, he's not dead, but he will die, right? Because everybody dies. But God never dies. Because that's above, right? Let me give you another example. Now, this is, this is something that just in the world, you know, energy doesn't die. You know, energy changes form, but it doesn't die. So, doctors, scientists, researchers tell us that energy, it just changes form. Now, that's hard for me to conceptualize because when I see a light bulb turned off, I say energy is finished. But the reality is, that's just the light not coming. Gotcha. The energy that was going is still, is exactly. But energy would recycle and still be there, right? So that's the thing. God is a creator of energy. He's the creator of us. He's the creator. So he doesn't govern by our laws. God knows everything, right? God knows what will happen, what did happen. Now, now for me and you, that's hard to understand because we don't. 
But that's why God is the, he's a puppeteer. He's the one that created. He is the creator. So he doesn't govern by strings like a puppet does, right? So God has always been there, will always be there. God is nothing like us. That's, that's right? Fair. Does that faith, make faith and trust? Well, it's not just faith. It's not blind faith, right? Mm. We believe in faith based on facts, right? Like you have a Quran in your hand. If I told you that this was written by somebody who couldn't read or write, you couldn't believe that, right? If you can't read or write, how could you write a book? Exactly. Right? Exactly. This Quran was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and you can look up any historian, he couldn't read or write. So where could he come up with this? And let me show you something. I got you, I got you. Right? Check this out. Right? This is the Quran. You have the same one? Like this is Surat Naziat, right? It talks about he extracted from the water and its pastures, right? From the earth extracted water and its pastures. The fact that the water on earth came from within the earth, this was recently discovered, mm. right? How could a man in a desert 1400 years ago have known that? Mm, Who couldn't yeah. read or write, wasn't a scientist, wasn't a Roman philosopher, he wasn't a Greek, you know, any of that kind of stuff, right? Now look at this, okay? In the Quran, or they be like the darknesses within the unfathomable sea, which is covered with waves upon which there are waves. Now look at this. The fact that there are waves underneath the ocean, in the inside of the ocean, not just on the surface, is something very recently figured out because we couldn't dive deep enough. How could the Prophet Muhammad have known that there are waves beneath the ocean? Like, okay, maybe he guessed at it, right? Like, like, like I'm, I'm open to spectrum. I'm not like church. Just shut up and believe, you know? Yeah. Like, we Muslims believe in, in asking questions, okay? This is in the Quran in Surah Mu'minun, right? And certainly we did. Uh, let me change my glasses, man. I'm getting, I'm getting young. Just kidding. Right? It's very hot. Yeah, I feel like Cali. And certainly did, uh, certainly did we create man from extract of clay, and then we placed him as a sperm in the form of lodging in the womb. The sperm lodges in the womb, right? Then we made from the sperm drop into a clinging clot, a clot. This is called the alaq, right? And we made from the clot into a lump of flesh. Then we made the lump from the lump bones and we covered the bones with flesh. So bones first, then flesh. And we developed him into another creation, which is the human. So blessed is Allah. Now that explanation of how the sperm clots and then becomes a lump and bore bones form first and then muscle and flesh forms after that could not I mean what did he have ultra scans right now I'm gonna give you one more just because you guys are so cool right this is in Surah Anbiya and and he who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon all of the heavenly bodies in an orbit are swimming they are going in an orbit now the fact that the sun has an orbit was very recently developed or understood by scientists so how does a man who can't read or write, come up with a whole book that is eloquent in the Arabic language, that has linguistic miracles, that has prophecies that came true, and has scientific facts that 100% could not have been known by somebody of his time. Mm -hmm. See, so it's not faith, blindly like the Christians have this idea. It's faith based on evidences. Does that make sense to you guys? Yes, yes. So what do you think, man? We must know. I think. Ready? I think I. Me, yeah. I think I have to do my own research. All right, Malcolm. Very research very away. Very You've got a Quran. Yes, I We have a channel to... called the One Message Foundation. The One Message Foundation. You can watch the videos there. Are you guys? Uh, I'm in San Diego, Cali. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I'm just visiting till Monday. Fair enough. So we don't pressure people, right? Sure. Take your time, but don't let the devil procrastinate you, right? Sure. So you do your research, Malcolm. We got you. Any questions you got? Yeah, the brothers have a card. Yeah. But, uh, Marcus also has uh, has my number. Okay. Right. Awesome. Good to hear. There you go, brothers. Yep. What do you think, Carter? I think I'm similar to him. I think I would actually say him. Read it. Read it. I think reading him would really help me. Excellent. Yeah, I'll read the whole book. There you go, man. There you go. May Allah guide you. May Allah protect you guys. May Allah keep you on 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 this straight path to the truth. And may Allah make it that you guys don't get distracted. Keep bring with it, all right? Have a great Thank day. You, Thank you so much. Keep it real, bro. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean, man. Yeah. I mean, if that's you... been my biggest.
call home in the last few years, if I'm going to be honest with you. See, this is the Bible, uh, the King James, right? And if you look at the Bible, what does it say about homosexuality? You know, this is... I've got it all marked up, right? So, in Leviticus, it says, Whoever, if a man leaving his desires for a woman sleeps with another man, fulfilling those, then his penalty, right? There's Leviticus 20. Right there. Yeah, right here. 13. If a man lies with a male as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death and their blood shall be upon them. So that's in the Bible. Yes. But Christians today, they got rainbow flags. I know, they that's what I mean. Priests, that's why right? I'm saying when I grew up, it wasn't there like that. There you go. Man. Exactly, you exactly. Don't, you don't have to go. Exactly. And anyways, I... I uh... So what do you think about Islam though? What do you, we believe in one God. You believe in one God. Yes. We believe that Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad were all no, sent I, I by the same God. I, I, I need to read this. Like I said, I, I don't have any ill will. Like over the right. last few years, like I said, when I was telling your friend here, yeah. what I see with my own eyes is that Islam essentially is the only people that aren't going down the path of evil. There you right go. Now, I, there I, you know. I, I can't deny it as much as that's, I, whatever you, I was You are a very into, honest man. person. Yeah. And that's amazing. Yeah. Because I know a lot of people that feel that way. In, in, I'm from America, right? Yeah. In America and Canada. But a lot of people are not honest enough to admit that. Yeah. Right? Now, even if you look at in, in America, I'm from California. So I'm, yeah. I'm from the... Oh, you're from Epis California. I'm hey, from oh the boy. California. That oh, is man. so true. I mean, I mean, the gun laws, the, the you know, the, 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 the not, not just... Like, like, look, we're not trying to invade anybody's house in their privacy. Whatever somebody does in the privacy of their home, I'm not concerned about. They can answer to God themselves. Exactly, yeah. right? But when you come into my children's school yes. and you have a, a dude dressed up uh, like a woman, like you know, please, right? Trying to promote that and force my children into accepting that I got a problem with it. Well, exactly, because you're no longer living in delusion. You're trying to force me to accept your delusion exactly. and espouse it. And now think about this, right? If humanity went down that path, if the majority of humans went down the LGBTQXYZ path, we would cease to exist as a, as a species. How on earth as far as that? Right, concerned. because to have a species exist, you need more than two children per father and mother. I have so, four. Right, you have four? I got four. Yeah. There you go, yeah. there you go right? Job. In Islam, we believe that you need to preserve humanity, right? If people, men and men, and women and women, and men thinking they're women, they can't have kids. No, nope. like, they are gonna. Either. They shouldn't. They're probably doing us a favor in the law. Right? <laughs> and all they can do is adopt. Yes. So every person who's alive right now is because of heterosexuality. Yes. That's why I told even homosexuals that they need to thank a heterosexual for being alive, because if it wasn't for that natural coming of man and woman, they wouldn't be alive. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So when you have that belief, become Muslim, man. Well, Let's I'm, do it. I'm, I'm honestly thinking about it. Can I take Actually, one yeah, take it, take it, please. I'm gonna go have some food, but I'm gonna I'm gonna read the take book. Take your here. time. You've got the book. You've got the contact. Are you, you, are you here in Edmonton? I'm here in Edmonton. Yes. Take uh, the brother's number. So yeah, we'll, we, we can. Add them. Here, just we'll, we'll just write it on the card. Yeah, sure. Yeah, write just, it on the card. Yeah, please. If you can write. Uh, oh, write, write down your number. Or write down your your local, right? Yeah, yeah. Inshallah, he'll give you his personal number. Yes. Gotcha. So just whenever you have, yeah, whenever you have read, whenever you're ready, hit the brother up. But we appreciate your honesty and we appreciate you standing up for what right, what's right. Yeah. I'll, give you, I'll give you a few more there as well too, just okay. so you can add that to the collection. Absolutely. Those are all threes, my chicken scratch. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. Thank you, Adam. Salam Salam. Salam. Okay. You have a good day. Yeah, you Thank you. God's above, right? Okay, and you believe that, like you said, Moses, Abraham, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. Yeah. We, we think they were prophets. We don't worship them. They're not God, but they were sent to guide mankind. Does that make sense? Right? So, what is that? The tribal? Ink. Ink, yeah, 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 I see it. So, if you believe that, that's already the Muslim belief, right? Mm -hmm. So, we, you have a Quran already. If you believe that, we do your testimony, we just exact same thing you just said, we'll say it in a formal manner, and you'll be a Muslim, right? What does it mean to be a Muslim? Muslim means you will submit yourself to your creator. You have to marry you, get married. Oh, you can get married later, and you don't have to be married to be Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> you got all these young brothers out here, they're not married, they're, not, they're Muslim. But you know, get yourself a good, pious wife, you so can, you can... You can always convert anytime. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for women, let me just put this for you. For women, if you're Muslim, if you know somebody that's, that you're interested in marrying, we can speak to her, she can become Muslim and you can get married, 
even if she's Christian or Jewish and you want to marry her and she's interested in becoming Muslim, there are some rules that you can still marry her. Or you can find a good Muslim wife, a good, you know, muhajjaba, you know, somebody who's covered, not somebody who's going to be out there for every Tom, Dick and Harry to, to you know, stare at and stuff, right? Yeah. Get a good wife that'll keep a good household with you, be a good husband, a good leader of the house, live a good, clean life. That's how Islam's about, right? We got rules and regulations, like we don't drink alcohol, we don't do drugs, we don't kill people, we don't steal, we don't cheat, we don't lie. And again, people have shortcomings. I'm not saying they're not Muslims who don't slip but we try to live that clean life, you know? Why? Because that'll make the best version of you possible. You know, the, the, the Christian missionaries, I was in Indonesia, and they went out there recently, right? And they would give the, the local population alcohol and cigarettes, right? And to try to convert them. And that's like such a dirty trick because it would ruin the society. That even if you look at the Christian missionaries that came from Europe to the Americas, right? They went to the native population that were here already and gave them alcohol and cigarette, or not cigarettes, cigarette the way, but yeah. And you know, like ailments of society, then the smallpox and all that, you know history, you, you, you've been here. But as Muslims, we want you to be the best version of yourself. We want you to be healthy. We want you to be disciplined, praying five times a day on time, you know? Yeah. So, I got you, bro. So what do you think? Do you believe in one God? Do you believe Muhammad was a servant and messenger of God, like Moses was? That's a testimony. Let's do it. Say it with me, all right? Mm -hmm. You want to do in English first or Arabic first? Can you speak Arabic? Well, you say, uh, you just say it with me, okay? Mm -hmm. Say, Ashhadu Ashhadu Allah, Allah Ilaha, ilaha illallah. illallah Wa, wa Ashhadu Ashhadu Anna, anna Muhammad Muhammad Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasulu. Allahu Akbar. There you go, man. You must have. All right, we'll do, we'll do English now just so you know the meaning, all right? I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is the servant. Is the servant. And messenger of Allah. And messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar. That's Allah it, man. You're Muslim. All right, let me get you some books. We'll get the brothers to get you connected with the local community so we can give you support. Whatever you need, we're your brothers, man. You know, we're, you. we're going to be on it together, right? Inshallah. <laughs>